Yo, 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 what's going on? Much love to you. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, welcome back. We are fresh from a run. That's why I'm like soaking wet. It's not raining outside. It's um, going to rain soon, but this is all sweat. Awesome run. I'm um, at least like, I think over seven miles, something like that. Relaxing run, went smooth. But um, I want to talk about some, some things in this video. Um, the shoes that I bought from Walmart a couple of months ago, I want to talk about those. But before we talk, of course, if you are brand new here, go ahead and support this channel by subscribing and hit the bell notification. Only do those two things if you enjoy the content that I post here. If you don't like what I, if you don't like the stuff that I post here, the videos, which are mainly about running, veganism, and fitness, if you're not into those subjects or topics, it's okay. You're not breaking my heart. But do not subscribe to this channel or hit the bell notification. Only do that if you enjoy the content. If you want to support the channel, do that. So, uh, of course, comment, like, and share. Smash the like button. Help your boy out as much as as much as you can. Excuse me. And uh, let's talk about these shoes that I'm wearing right now on my feet. Again, fresh from a run. Um, 10K went awesome. It's very gloomy outside. It's, it's just an overcast. It's been like this all week, right? Um, not my type of weather, but just there's no excuse. I'm still going to go out there and knock out the run and get it done. So there's no excuses, but I prefer the sun. I must prefer the sunshine. Anywho, so here's the shoes that I'm wearing currently right now. Um, I have a, other pairs of shoes, obviously, but these are one of the shoes that I purchased from Walmart a couple months ago. And they don't really have a name. I think they do. Yep, they do. Um, these are called Athletic Works. Athletic Works. <laughs> there you go. Very, very cheap shoes. Uh, this feels like foam, right? It feels cheap as hell. I'm not going to act like it's like the best, you know, um, ma like material made um, to, you know, make a shoe. It's cheap material, but it gets the job done. These shoes are amazing for running. And they're at Walmart, like I said before. Um, again, look at the, look, this is cheap foam right here. The sole is super cheap compared to like your Nike type shoes and the Adidas. Your high-end shoes, you can tell a major difference, a huge difference in the soles. And this feels like foam, but it gets the job done. I get people leaving comments about me buying cheap shoes all the time. And I'm, I'm saying to myself, who cares if the shoe gets the job done? If it's going to help you complete whatever goals you're trying to complete, the shoe did its job. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's $20 to $300 or maybe more than that. I'm sure there's shoes that cost way more than that for running. But I'm not against purchasing shoes that expensive, $200, $100. Do you? I'll do the same thing. But um, once again, if the shoe is great for what it does, then the price shouldn't matter to you, right? It shouldn't even be a big deal. First of all, let's talk about how comfortable they are. Extremely comfortable. They have the whole memory foam thing in, 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 like in, in the very bottom. Super like just really comfortable shoes. Um, not much to say about them, really. Uh, they're just really ventilating. I mean, there's so much ventilation in this shoe. Like, a lot of air is going between my toes. I can feel it, literally, when I'm running with these shoes. And like I said before, they, it gets the job done. I don't care what brand it is. I don't really care for that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm sure Nike has amazing shoes. I've worn them before. But I don't really call... I, I, I don't, I'm not for the brand name of the shoe. I'm really about the shoe being comfortable um of course it's going to help me knock out the runs and being comfort really you know being good comfort and it's good styling too pretty stuff nice nice stylish shoe you know a simple color gray and white nothing too um you know crazy but yeah it, it, it's, it's just a good pair of shoes to wear i have these also in black and white and uh i want to say i have them in black no i have them in black and white also the same exact shoe i bought them at, at, at the same time and, 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 and yo like i said before the shoe is greater for what it does i i that's all i care for so yeah man um if anyone leaves leaving these comments on the videos about it being cheap shoes i think it's just silly and um i just don't see what's your point for it being cheap shoes who cares that's my whole point who the hell cares if the shoe's good at what it does that's all that matters, right? I mean, I see a lot of these videos on, on social media, whether it's YouTube or Instagram, and people are reviewing these high-end shoes. And of course, there's things that the shoe has when they're really expensive. A lot of times, they're just way better performing shoes. It depends on what, on what you're trying to do, of course. If you're looking for lightweight shoes, 
you know, these are great for light. Look, these are extremely lightweight shoes and they're pretty flexible as well. You know what I mean? Like, this is what I'm talking about. It's, it's, it's super flexible. You know, this is what I care about. I don't care how much it costs. If all this is featured on the shoe, the lightness, the ventilation, um, this is still a cheap piece of sole, but it's like really thick foam. And when I'm landing, like each of my strides are comfortable when I'm wearing these shoes. I'm not sure what else is to say about these shoes, man. Like, I mean, I'll still buy them if they were 50 bucks, 100 bucks. Once I tried these on, I knew I wanted them. Once I tried them on at Walmart, I knew I had to have them for my run. That's why I got them. I didn't even look at the price, you know? I didn't care for the price at all. I just looked at the shoe for what it does. It was just comfortable pairs of shoes. That's all I cared for. So like I said before, a lot of these re 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 reviews on social media, the YouTubes, about these high-end shoes being better than cheap shoes, I have to disagree. I have to disagree. A lot of times, the expensive shoes, depends on what you're doing, may not always be the best choice. Because they're expensive does not mean they're better shoes, right? I mean, because they're cheap doesn't mean they're not good shoes. Try the shoe on, see how it feels, and just go from there. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever is your goal and whatever you're doing, um, I recommend going to a shoe store and see the salesperson and have that person help you find the right pairs of shoes for whatever it is that you're trying to do. That's how I look at it. Whether they find something expensive or cheap, whatever. If it fits your budget, if the shoe is perfectly like not made for you but if it's if it's if it's perfect for you right buy the shoe no matter what price it is if you can afford it if it's part if it's in your budget of course but if the shoe is a good fit what's the problem get the damn shoe that's my situation i went to walmart put these on my feet i walked around with them i'm like yo these shoes are really comfortable like i like the way they feel um extremely lightweight and i love how this part this part right here supports the back of my legs I mean, it's, it's great for the strides, man. It, it really is a great feature right here. This, this, I'm not sure if you call this the tongue. I don't know what this is called, but <laughs> I'm satisfied. And I can see me buying more pairs of these shoes. I wear these on rough terrains, rocky, rocky areas. Um, of course, the pavement, the grass. It still does a great job. It, it's, it's still great shoes on the feet for me, speaking for myself, when I'm training with them. So I'm not saying to go buy these shoes because I'm wearing them. What I'm saying to you is you go, I, I recommend for you to go to an actual store, a shoe store, and see the salesperson, have that person find the right pairs of shoes for you. It may be kind of expensive, it may be pricey, but I think that's a way better, a way smarter um, option than just watching a bunch of people on YouTube and going off their you know, say so about the shoe. I'm not saying don't listen to them, the YouTubers, the influencers, but um, to me personally, I think going to a shoe store in your local area and find the right shoe for you by just trying them on and just go from there. I love these shoes. Um, <laughs> I tried them on. That's why I, I, that's why I got them. Not because of, of the price of, of it being so affordable. Didn't care about the price. I cared about the shoe first. So that's my whole point about this video. Really, get, get, get the shoe if it's good for you. No matter what's, what's the price, if you can afford it, get the damn shoe <laughs> no matter how cheap it is how expensive it is if it's right for you for whatever you're trying to do get the damn shoe that's my whole story that's my video hope you got some value from this situation and yes um that's about it thanks for watching much love to you i'll be up with more videos of course once again comment like and share subscribe if you like the content support me by doing those two things this will be a membership channel soon i keep saying that it's coming i'm, I'm doing um, it's, it's coming. This, going to, this will be a membership channel. That's another way for you to support the channel by becoming a member. But more on that soon. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Much love to you. Peace safe out there. Be safe out there, excuse me. I'm out. Peace out.